Welcome back to the MQTT Essentials. In today's video, we will talk about the unique last will and testament feature of MQTT. What is the last will and testament feature? The last will and testament feature enables you to do error detection for MQTT clients. So basically, you get a notification as soon as one of your clients, your connected MQT clients, disconnects ungracefully. And what this means, we will cover in a few minutes. So this is built in, into the protocol. And this is really unique. And I'm not aware of a lot of protocols with similar mechanism. Because what happens is, as soon as a client connects to the MQTT broker, and we have seen this in the connect packet, the connect packet is sent, the client creates um, its last will and testament, which means the actual message that should be sent by the broker on behalf of the client is defined on connection establishment by a specific client. And if this client disconnects ungracefully for any reason, the broker would notice and would then publish a MQTT packet on the specified topic so other MQT clients get the chance to understand that this specific client is offline. Let's look at the connect packet. So the connect packet has four different properties you can set for last will and testament. And of course, last will and testament is an optional feature. You don't need to do this, but if you want to use it, it's a really great feature for error detection. So if you want to use it, then you need to set in the MQTT connect packet the will topic, which is the topic of the MQTT message the broker should send on behalf of the client if it dies. The will payload, which is the actual content of the message. And then you can set the quality of service level. So this is a quality of service zero, one or two message. And you can set the retain flag also for this connect packet. But when will the broker actually issue the, the published packet and send it to other interested clients? So there are different scenarios. One scenario is if the broker detects a network failure. So it could be any network failure between the client and the broker. If the client fails to send any packet in the keep alive period, we will see the keep alive period in the next video what this is, but there is like a heart beating time frame. A client needs to send packets. And if it doesn't, the broker will detect that the client is not healthy anymore. Number three, if the client does not send a disconnect packet before the client closes the network connection. So in order to do a graceful disconnection with MQDT before a client closes the connection, it will always send a so-called disconnect packet to notify the broker that this is an orderly shutdown of the client. And fourth, the broker, the broker closes the connection because of some protocol errors. And this can happen if the client misbehaves for some reason and then the broker will basically kick out the client and then issue the LVT. So what are the best practices here? Best practices are to use LWT in case you really need it. So for example, you could implement an online offline mechanism to understand if a client is online. So let's do an example. Let's assume directly after connection establishment, a MQT client would send a MQT published packet, which says online for the topic which is named after the device with a retained message to true. So every subscriber would then see that this client is currently online. And you could then also add, a, let's say, offline, offline packet to the will, which means you put on the same topic, you put the payload offline, also with the will retained to true um, into the connect packet. And then as soon as your client disconnects ungracefully, you would send or the, the broker would send it to the topic and everybody who is interested in it would directly notify. And the great thing is the broker pushes this information. This means as soon as the connection breaks between one of your devices, you will get an instant notification 
and so you have a reliable online offline mechanism. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe below and see you in the next video.